Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about how to remove the underline in links in a variety of different situations around Squarespace 7.1. So why this has become so tricky is usually you can get rid of an underline um, by eliminating the border, the outline, or text decoration. Um, however, these underlines are actually created by a background image in Squarespace 7.1. So you have to remove the background image. Um, so what you're going to do is go to Design, Custom CSS, and copy and paste the following code from below this video. Now this code specifically will eliminate the background image from all links on your site. So notice I had an underline here, here, and also in my footer here. So that's eliminated it from across the entire site. If you want to target just specific links, then we need to add what's called a selector in front to tell it where we want this to change. So for instance, if I want it just in the header, then I'm going to add the word header in front and you'll notice that my underline in my body text and in my footer comes back, but I no longer have that underline in the header. If I want to change it from the footer, I can put the word footer in and you'll see the underline comes up in the header and my body text, but not in the footer. You can also assign this just to a specific page. So if you want it just to a specific page, you need to get the collection ID of this page. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can either use Chrome developer tools to inspect the code, or probably the easiest way is there is a Chrome extension that's called Squarespace Collection Block Identifier. It looks like a black square with a white B in it. Um, and it's really been a game changer for me. If you have that Chrome extension, you just click on it and you'll see it's brought up the collection ID of this page as well as the block IDs throughout the page here, um, which is super, super helpful. So I'm going to click on this collection ID to copy it and then paste it in front of the A. And so that means that it will change um, or hide all of the underlines for links on this page. But if I click to a different page, you'll see that the links have come up on this page, just not on the original page that I was on. If you want to attribute it just to one section, so let's say I don't want the links on this section, but I want it everywhere else, then you're going to need to copy and paste the code below this video for links in a specific section. And you're going to need to change this collection ID to the collection ID of the page. As you can see, it has eliminated it from this first section, but if I had other sections going down the page, the links would still um, be within those sections, just not this first section. If you wanna change that, you just change the one to a two or three or four to match the section that you are hiding the underline from. You can also apply it just to one block. So let's say I just want this text block to not have the link, but everywhere else on the site is okay. Then you can copy and paste the code from below this video. And then you'll need to get the block ID of this block. Again, you can use the methods that I had talked about before where you use Chrome developer tools to inspect or get this uh, extension, Chrome extension, and it will bring up the block here. You can click on that and replace it there. Notice that the underline has disappeared from this block, but on all the other blocks on the site, then the underlines will be there. And so that is how you remove the underline from links in Squarespace 7.1.